If you are looking to play a 1080p resolution on a budget and you want a great graphics card that's going to be able to play a 1080p ultra settings, no FPS drops and a very smooth gaming performance, then this video is going to be for you. I will show you the best budget graphics cards from AMD, Nvidia and Intel and I will also tell you which one I recommend you buying depending on your budget and your needs. All the links to these graphics cards will be down below in the video description and I will also show you the level of performance that you can expect in case you end up buying one of these GPUs. With that being said, let's start. First, let's talk about the cheapest one on the list and I'm talking about the Intel Arc A580. This one is going for just $160 brand new and it's going to give you a very smooth 1080p gaming performance. In a very high demanding test in high demanding titles from Tom's hardware, the Arc A580 was able to average 65 FPS across 9 games. This means that you're going to get very smooth gaming performance because usually you can expect way over 65 FPS on average in most Tired. Here we are just talking about the most high demanding games out there on ultra settings so in theory you can expect higher FPS but anyway 65 FPS on average in this type of games is a very high number especially considering that you are spending only 160 bucks. The only downside to this graphics card is going to be Intel. The drivers are not the best optimized drivers out there because Intel is fairly new to graphics cards so if you are a PC enthusiast then getting this Intel Arc A580 is a great idea but if you are the average gamer you may want to to consider AMD or Nvidia which I will talk about in a second. One of the things though that I love about this Intel Arc A580 is that you get AV1 encoding so you get a great encoder for streamings and recordings especially if you want to upload to YouTube and then it's also a very good content creation graphics card on a budget. Moving up in price we have the RX 6600 from AMD. This one is going for $200 so about $40 more expensive at the moment than the Intel Arc A580. In terms of rasterized gaming performance is basically the same as the Arc A580 so do not expect a much higher performance compared to the Intel graphics card except for the games that are not well optimized for Intel and in that case you are going to be getting much higher FPS if you buy the AMD GPU and that's going to be the main difference the drivers optimization so yes you're spending $40 more for about the same performance but you are getting a more stable graphics card and if you are the average gamer this is going to be my recommendation for around $200 for a graphics card. And as a bonus GPU, I also want to mention the Intel Arc A750 going for around 190 bucks, so about $10 cheaper than the RX 6600 and it's going to be around 10% faster in terms of rasterization. So on that same test on high demanding titles, the Intel Arc A750 was able to average 70 FPS compared to the 64 FPS from the RX 6600. So yes, you spend less money and get slightly better rasterized performance performance but again the drivers are not going to be the best however if your game works well with Intel by all means buy an Intel graphics card but you should always check for benchmarks of this Intel CPU in your favorite game for you to see how it performs and whether you would be happy with it or you may want a different graphics card. With the next one we have my favorite in terms of price to performance and I'm talking about the RX 6650 XT. This one at the moment is going for $230 so it's $30 more expensive than the RX 6600 which is a 15% in terms of pricing. However, the 6650 XT is about 25% faster in terms of rasterized performance compared to the 6600. So you're spending 15% more to get 25% faster performance, which means that it's actually better in terms of price to performance. In terms of FPS on high demanding titles, well the 6650 XT was able to average around 78 FPS compared to the 64 FPS for the 6600. Remember that these are very high demanding titles and for most games you can expect well over 75 FPS on average at 1080p and you can actually play at 1440p depending on the game and the settings with a pretty smooth gaming performance. If you want to play esports games you can expect around 144 or even 240 plus FPS on average depending on your CPU. So the CPU and GPU combo is very important because you do not want to bottleneck your GPU and get FPS drops or stutters in your games which is going to make the gaming performance much worse. For that reason, I highly recommend you watching my video on the best value CPU and GPU combos for every resolution. You will have that video in the top right of the screen and in the video description. And if you are enjoying the video so far,
far click the subscribe button is going to help the channel a lot so if you do that thank you so much with the next one we have a more expensive graphics card so it's not a budget gpu it's not cheap but it's on a huge discount and i highly recommend you consider buying this gpu if you have the budget to buy it and i'm talking about the rx 6750 xt this one is a 12x of ram graphics card so it's 1440p capable and of course you can play at 1080p ultra settings with no issues this one right now is going for 310 dollars so quite more expensive than the other gpus i've mentioned today but you are going to be getting an amazing 1080p performance on the most high demanding titles at 1080p you can expect 90 to 100 plus fps on average depending on the game and depending on the exact settings and if you want to play at 1440p you can expect around 70 to 80 plus fps on average once again depending on the game and the settings that being said is the best one in terms of performance of this entire list and it's the only one where you get 12 gigs of VRAM, which is going to be helpful down the line because games over time might require more than 8 gigs of VRAM at 1080p and especially at 1440p resolution now the reason why i did not mention nvidia yet is because nvidia gpus are not the best in terms of price to performance and i would recommend you buying nvidia if you are looking for a 1440p or a 4k monitor however if you must by nvidia then you have two options the rtx 4060 and the rtx 3060 the 4060 is going for 295 dollars at the moment and it will give you an amazing 1080p performance and i'm talking about 85 plus fps on average in the most high demanding titles on ultra settings and then the 3060 is a slower with an average of 70 fps and it will cost about the same however it has 12 gigs of vram which might be helpful if you do content creation for example and you know that you need to utilize those 12 gigs of vram but if your games do not require more than 8 gigs of vram then the 4060 is better because it's going to give you better performance just keep in mind that in terms of price of performance the 6750 xt is going to be slightly more expensive and it's going to give you a much better rasterization performance 12 gigs of vram is not going to be better in terms of ray tracing performance but at this price point i would not recommend you turning on ray tracing because it's just not going to be playable if you enjoyed the video subscribe it will help the channel a lot and also in the top link in the description you have my personal pc help so if you need help with your computer and you want me to take a look at your specific situation that's going to be the top link in the description thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one